Shalom to my brothers and sisters in the body of Yahushua HaMashiach. And today I just want to bring you another confirmation of the 13th month. And for my brothers and sisters who personally know me, you know I love numbers, I love math. And the Most High also allowed me today to see the confirmation of the 13th month. So here is definite proof that, that you even can do yourself to confirm that that there is a 13th month and we are supposed to include the 13th month in Yahuwah's calendar. So this is the title of the lesson, the, the confirmation of the 13th month. So let's get started. Okay. Here I have a picture of the 12th month from 2015 to 2016. So this is the Hebrew calendar 12th month. And those who follow the 13th month and those who do not follow the 13th month, we all agree that this year, from February to March 2016, that this was the 12th month. And that 12th month started from on February the 9th at sundown to February the 10th at sundown. That was day one. And it ended on um, March the 8th at sundown to March the 9th at sundown. So that was the last day of that month. It was 29 days in that month. Okay. Let's go to the next picture. Now, this is where um, some of my brothers and sisters may not agree about the 13th month. Okay. So here's our enlarged picture. And if it's slightly blurry, I do apologize. I just have to use the best that I can. Okay. Those who do not accept the 13th month are saying that from March the 9th to the 10th to April the 7th to the 8th is their first month. Okay. But those who follow the 13th month says that this is the 13th month, which is also known as a dark two. Now, this month did have 30 days, okay? So, in other words, the people who are not honoring the 13th month is like a month ahead of us. So, through the evidence I have below, I'm going to give you confirmation about the 13th month. So the subtitle here is March hyphen April 2016. It has 30 days, the 13th month. And the equinox, the which which they call the spring equinox or the vernal equinox, fell on the 11th day of the 13th month. For those who do not honor it, they would say it fell on the first month of the 11th day. It's still gonna be the same number of days, but we just we're just gonna have difference on what we say what month it is okay but that's very important to know because we know that the that the lunar year cannot start before the solar year so what the equinox is telling us that that's when the length of daylight is almost equal to the length of night which night is darkness okay so it's about the same on that day that is the last day of the solar year and the last day of the winter season, okay? And which if you read first Enoch, he give you a very um he gives a very great understanding so you understand when do the solar months begin and end and also when do the solar seasons, which is spring, summer, fall, and winter begins and end. So that's very important to know. Therefore, the 12th day of this month here that you see in this picture is actually the first day of spring. So this is why those who honor the 13th month says that this is the 13th month because you cannot have the lunar year to begin before the solar year. For we know even by observing the moon and even reading about it in the Gentiles books, that the moon is always behind the solar year. Okay. But here's the proof that will confirm what I'm telling you. 
So bear with me, my brothers and sisters. I'm going to read that first line that you see here. 2015 to 2016 of the 12 month followers. So they agreed that the 12th month for that period of time was February 9, 10th to March 8, 9th. Okay. And the reason why you see me put two days of the Gregorian day is because we go from sundown to sundown. So the 12th month began on February the 9th at sundown to February the 10th at sundown. And then that 12th month in on March the 8th at sundown to March the 9th at sundown. So we all can agree to that. Now here's where we don't agree. So in 2016 to 2017, the 12th month followers would say their first month is March the 9th at sundown to March 10th at sundown to April the 7th at sundown to 8th at sundown. Okay. Now, this is what's going to happen to those who do not honor the 13th month. You, um, in other words, those who do not follow the 13th month will be out of season in their future calendars. And this is one of the proofs. What I did, since you only count 12 months every year, I went back and counted all the moons for each year to see when your month would start. Okay. So in 2015 through 2016, your first month was March, April. Therefore, if your 12th month ended on February 12th. Going backwards, going to 2014 to 2015, your first month was March, April. Therefore, your 12th month will fall in February to March. Okay, so I know what you're probably saying. Well, that don't really make a big difference. Hold on, my brothers and sisters. Let us keep going further. So in the year of 2013 to 2014, your fourth, I mean, your first month will be in April, May. And your 12th month will end in March, April. Do you see how you're getting pushed further back? Then in 2012 to 2013, your first month will begin in April, May, and your 12th month will end in March, April. Now, here's the kicker right here. In the year of 2011 to 2012, your first month will begin in May and June. Now, you know you out of season if your first month begin in, April, in May and June. And then your 12th month will end in March, April. Then in 2010 to 2011, your first month will begin in May and June. And your 12th month will end in April, May. And then in 20, and then in 2009 to 2010, your first month will begin in May and June, and your 12th month will end in April, May. Now, do you see if you only just count 12 months, do you see how your calendar would be out of season? Now, keep in mind for this example, what I did, I counted backwards. So you said that this year, which we all agree, it had 12 months and it ended in the month of February to March. That's what we agree on. All of us said that we all agree and i've been following some some of my brothers and sisters posts who only followed the 12th month and they said that february march of 2016 was their 12th month so i counted backwards and this is the results i got it i mean this is the results i got now do you see the discrepancy however i know how my brothers and sisters are so i have some more proof for you but let's first explain why this happened. Because of the sevenfold of the moon course, the 12th month do not account for, I'm sorry, the 12th month followers do not account for the 13th month to be added. Therefore, the first month of the lunar year will be out of season. Because you're not... Either understanding the sevenfold moon course 
or accept what the prophet Enoch talked about the seven full moon course. And he talks about this in the first book and in the second book of Enoch. Okay. Because you would not accept this information. This is why your calendar will be out of season. Let us go on. Here's another confirmation. So we know for the ones who honor the 13th month, our first month began in April on the 8th at sundown to the 9th at sundown. And so that's ongoing. So what I did, I went back and counted how many moons for each lunar year. So in number two, I counted 13 moons for the year of 2015 to 2016. And this is based on the ones who honored the 13th month, okay? Also, 2015 to 2016, it started on March the 21st to the 22nd, 2015, to April the 7th to 8th, 2016. And we had 13 moons, which gave us 13 months. So for the whole lunar year, we had a total of 384 days. But those who only keep 12 months, you will have 354 days. Now for the solar year, we had 365 days. And when I actually took a difference between the actual lunar time from the actual solar time, I got 10 days. 15 hours and 14 minutes. So it does confirm that your moon will come in about two days, 10 days too early. And that did happen this year. So I'm going to go back up where you can see that calendar. So for us, you know, we count a, we don't look at the exact moon time. So we will count this day as 11 day. But if you look at the actual moon time for that whole year and add it up, we would get about 10 days, 15 hours, and 14 minutes, okay? So it does fulfill the prophecy of what um, the prophet, I mean, it does fulfill the prophecy in the book of Jubilees that those who observe the moon would notice that it does come in 10 days too soon. For the solar year began on the 12th, on, on the 12th day of Adar 2, okay? But let us go down further. Let's go back where we left off. Now, looking at number three, for the year of 2014 to 2015, I counted 12 moons. Therefore, I, our year began on March the 31st to April the 1st, 2014 to March 20, 21st, 2016. And these are based off observing that first sliver of light of the moon. Keep in mind, the dark moon is not the new moon day, my people, which has been confirmed by the Bible, Enoch, as well as other hidden books and other resources. And you can watch um, other videos I have about Yahuwah calendar to get more understanding and proof about what is the new moon. But however, let's get back on subject. So 12 moons were observed in the year of 2014 to 2015. Therefore, I got 355 days for the lunar year, and the solar year was 365 days, which gave us a difference of 10 days, which is also called the lunar epoch. And what the lunar epoch does, it gives you a number to work with so you know when the lunar year began because it's always falling behind the sun. So if you're trying to figure out what day the moon year begin on the solar calendar you can by using what we call the lunar epoch okay but let us keep going look at number four for the year of 2013 to 2014 i counted 12 moons and it began on april 11 12 2013 to march 30th hyphen 31st 2016 now, the new moon was observed on March the 12th, 2013. And this is why we had our year to begin on April the 11th, hyphen 12, 2013. 
because that new moon of March came in before the equinox. So this is why for us, the um, new year began in April instead of March. Okay. Number five. And number five, I counted 13 moons, sorry, 13 moons for the year of 2012 to 2013 year. And that began on March 23 hyphen 24, 2012 to April the 10th hyphen 11, 2013. Let's go to number six. In the year of 2011 and 2012, I counted 12 moons. And that year started on April the 4th hyphen 5th, 2011 to March 22nd hyphen 23rd, 2012. Now, the reason why our lunar year began in April and not in March is because the new moon crescent was observed on March the 6th, 2011, and that was before the equinox. Okay. Again, the lunar moon year cannot start before the equinox. And the equinox is the last day of the solar year. And it's the last day of winter. So the day that comes behind the equinox is the first day of your solar year. Let us go to number seven. In number seven, for the year of 2010 to 2011, I counted 12 moons. So again, for us, we started our lunar year in April, which is April the 15th, hyphen 16, 2010, to April the 3rd, hyphen 4th, 2011. And that is because the new moon in March fell on March the 17th, 2010, which was before the equinox. So this is why our year began in April. Then I do want to make this comment that I did observe for some strange reason, the 13th moon fell in 2009 hyphen 2010 year instead of 2010 hyphen 2011. It is one of things, according to the most high will, it just happened. And we'll talk more about the sevenfold course of the expected date of the 13th moon. And just keep in mind, the moon does what it does. As according to prophecy, it show when she wants to show. Sometimes she will not show at the appointed times and sometimes she will. Okay. Let's go to number eight. Now in the year of 2009 to 2010, I observed 13 moons. Now, the reason I had the word projected because I could not find any um, photos or videos confirming that the new moon crescent, which is the new moon day, fell on March the 27th at sundown, 2009. However, through my calculations, we confirmed that it had to fall on March the 27th at sundown. So let me continue to read the rest of this. So the new moon day... In other words, the moon year or the lunar year started on March the 27th, hyphen 28, 2009, and ended on April the 14th, hyphen 15, 2010. Now, the reason why my lunar year started on March the 27th at sundown is because the half moon was on day seven, which is April the 2nd. On the Gregorian calendar, the full moon fell on the 14th day, which is April the night on the Gregorian calendar. And my half waning moon fell on the 22nd day, which is April the 17th on the Gregorian calendar. And my dark moon fell on the 30th day of the Hebrew calendar, which is April the 25th on the Gregorian calendar. So if I chose any other day for my new moon day besides March the 27th at sundown, then this what this what will happen. If I say that the new moon day was on March the 28th, then my full moon will fall on the 13th day of the Hebrew calendar. And my people, that is not correct. 
even according to man and the prophet Enoch, you can only have a full moon on the 14th or 15th day of each lunar month. Okay. So let's talk about the equinox. Here we have a list of the equinox for the spring equinox or the vernal equinox. So I'm just going to read this out loud and you can write this down or you can go to timeanddate.com and look this up for yourself. But for 2009, the equinox fell on March the 20th. And again, these times are based off of Arad, Israel. Okay, that's very important for you to know. They are based off of Rod Israel, but everything starts in Israel. So the Equinox started on March the 20th on in the year of 2009, also in the year of 2010. Now in 2011, it started on March the 21st. But on 2012, it started on March the 20th, also 2013, 2014. But in 2015, it was March the 21st, and on 2016, it fell on March the 20th. Now, let's talk just a little bit about the sevenfold course of the moon. What this is basically saying that the moon would do an extra course that would cause us to have an extra moon or extra full moon in the solar year. And it can fall within a certain season of the solar year. And this usually occurs in the 3rd, 5th, 8th, 11th, 13th, 16th, 19th year of those 19 years. Okay. Remember a while ago I said that it was strange that we had a 13th moon in the year of 2010 instead of 2011. So that's one of them things, hey, you're just going to have to get with the most high to get understanding why did that happen. But for most of the time, it will fall in, in this um, formation or this track. For example, this year, it fell on 2016. So the current 19-year cycle is that we're following. It starts from 2001 to 2019. So we had one, well, we're supposed to have one in 2003, 2005, 2008, 2011, 2013, 2016, and 2019. But keep in mind, for some strange reason, instead of 2011, we had it in 2010. But however, what's going to happen is at the end of these 19 years, you would get seven um, only seven extra moons. In other words, to figure out how many moons you're supposed to have in 19 years, I got 228 full moons. That was, that was that's the number of moons we're supposed to have in 19 years. But but because this moon do some extra courses, we because the moon does these extra courses instead of having um, 228 full moons, we would have 235 full moons to fall within the solar year, also within a season. For example, in the year of 2016 of this year, in the spring season, we had four full moons to fall within, this, within the solar spring season. Now, those who keep a track of their calendar will see this easily because I'm telling you, my people, you're going to have to write this stuff down to see how it's fulfilling prophecy and to also to gain understanding. That's the only way um, to really learn this calendar. You're going to have to practice. You're going to have to write this stuff out. But let me go to the final example of why we should all in the 13th month. And this is a comparison between the 12 month follow followers versus the 13 month followers. So what I did, I took the original information I just went over to you about how many moons we have for each for each year of the of the lunar year. So for 20 for I'm sorry, for 2009 to 2010 and it started in March the 21st and ended on April the 14th. Now you can take this time to pause the stream to look at all the numbers. I'm not going to read every number word for word. 
this to keep this video short, I'm just going to read the first numbers and those dates. So from March the 21st, that's when the year began of the moon, and it ended on April the 14th, 2010. So those who honored followed the, the um, 12 months, our first month is going to match up. But the difference is when we when we get to our 13th month, they're going to claim it as their first month. Okay? So this is what's going to happen when I count from 20, I mean, count from 2000 and 2009 hyphen 2010 all the way up. This is what's going to happen to them. Okay? So in 2010 hyphen 2011, their second month is going to be when our first month began. And their first month of 2011 would be our 12th month. So the, the 12 month follow year follower, I mean, the 12 month followers year is going to start in April, May. Okay. For the year of 2010 11. Okay, let's keep going. For the year of 2011-12, our first month would be their second month. Okay? Our first month would be their second month. And our 12th month would be their first month. Okay? So the 12th month followers year would start in March hyphen April of 2011. All right. Let's keep going. So you can see how. What's going to happen to them. In the year of 2012 hyphen 13. It started in March the 23rd. And ended in April the 10th 2013. So for our first month. It is the 12th month followers second month so our first month is their second month and our 13th month is their second month so the 12th month following year will start in march hyphen hyphen um april okay that's when their lunar year will begin so i know what you're thinking don't make much difference but it do because what's going to happen you're going to end up starting your first month which is the month of a bid in the winter season. But let's keep going. In the year of 2013 to 2014, and it started in April the 11th day, 2013, to March the 30th of 2014. So our first month is the third month for them, and our 12th month is their second month. So the 12th month follow year, We'll start in February and March. Now, you know, my people, we never had the first month of our lunar year to begin in February. That's the winter season, my people. But let's keep going. In the year of 2014-15, it'll begin March the 31st of 2014, and it will end March the 20th of 2015. So for our first month, it would be their third month. And for our 12th month, it would be their second month. So the 12th month following year would start in January and February. Do you see what I was saying? Their year is going to be pushed further and further back. And they're going to have Passover in the wintertime and not in the springtime. Okay, let's keep going. For the year of 2015 through 2016, it started in March the 21st, 2015, and ended in April the 7th, 2016. So our first month is the third month, and our 13th month is the third month. So the 12th month following year will start in January and February again. They're going to have Passover in the wintertime. They're going to be out of season. Also, in this current year, 2016 to 2017, 
Our first month began on April the 8th at sundown, and it's ongoing now. So our first month is actually supposed to be their fourth month. But for some reason, most of them are following our calendar. But because we have the 13th month to happen this year, they disagree with it. And it could be that we have a lot of people who are new to the truth, who just coming in and they are still learning. So they picked up where our calendar was. But when the 13th month came, they just didn't agree with it. And that was and that's understandable because when you don't have the other um, books and information or maybe you haven't came across of it yet, you think that that's something that the Hebrew Israelite did not practice. However, it is it is confirmed in the book of um, of Ezekiel. And if you deserve the um, heavens like the way. I'm showing to you here and you're keeping a record of the calendar. You will see that you will have to add a 13th month in order to stay in season for your holy feast days. If you don't, as you see now, your Passover will be started in the winter season, in the winter season instead of the spring season. So for them, they should be starting their year, their their little year in January, February, instead of um, in, look at my notes here, instead of March, April. But again, it could be that they, they just got started keeping the Hebrew Israelite calendar and they was only probably thinking it was only 12 months and not aware of the 13th month. So that's probably why we see this big discrepancy now with those who just follow the 12 months instead of the 13 months. So my brothers and sisters, I want to thank you for taking the time to listen to this video. And as you can see with the evidence and the examples I have provided for you, it confirms and proves that the prophet um, Ezekiel, Enoch, the book of Jubilees, as well as the King James 16 of the Holy the, as well as the King James 1611 Holy Bible are correct about the 13th month and why we should include it in Yahuwah's calendar. My people take this time to re-listen re to the video, research what I'm telling you, and please share with your brothers and sisters so we all can come together on one accord with the Most High calendar. And I give all praises to you, Hoover, because I'm telling you, my people, I cannot do this without him. For he gave me the understanding regarding the heavens and how to observe and follow his holy calendar. And I'm telling you, my people, he will help you. But all you have to do is seek him and you will find him. All you have to do is ask and it shall be given to you. And all you have to do is knock on that door. And it shall be open to you. Luke chapter 11, verse 9 through 13. And all I can say is hallelujah and shalom to my brothers and sisters in the body of Yahushua HaMashiach. And please do not forget to preach the gospel of Yahushua HaMashiach, which is the gospel of the kingdom of, of heaven is at hand. For we know this is the season for him to return. And we know that Jacob kingdom is coming very soon, my people. And Esau kingdom is ending. As written in 2nd Ezra chapter 6, verse 7 to 9. I love you all and shalom.